to the Whiting Affair. I hope you all are having a blessed day, good year, all that and some more. We're out today um, looking at areas. Um, we are in the process of saving to buy a new home. We are looking to stay in our area, if not maybe a little bit further from where we are. So we're gonna go look at some model homes. So we're gonna go look at some model homes and look at some of the neighborhoods that they're in. Uh, we did ride past some model homes the other day that we really did like and we looked them up and we love the model homes. But the area is just like, ugh. I don't know if I wanna stay in that area, um, mainly because they didn't have um, any backyard, front yard, side yard. The houses were just on top of each other. That seems to be the new trend of housing that they don't have any backyard, side yard, front yard. You just on top of each other and I don't want that. Also, I'm trying to find a neighborhood that doesn't really have an HOA or they do have an HOA, but they allow you to put a pool in your backyard. I really would like to have a pool in the backyard, whether it's above ground, below ground, either or. I just would like to have a pool in the backyard. So hopefully I'm able to get all of that, you know, that I'm looking for. Also, we want four bedrooms or five, but preferably, I guess, and in some space for me to call my own so i guess five bedrooms will be the best and four bathrooms i want the boys to share a bathroom but i don't want cadence to have the same have to share a bathroom with them because the boys is nasty so we're going to take you on this ride to, to see all the model homes we have three neighborhoods or four neighborhoods that we want to look at and we'll take you to them all with us. We'll take you with us to them all.
left the house, which I think the model is called the Lexington. It's nice. Really, really nice. My only thing, and I think it's just me just nitpicking, hey, hey, hey. is that the loft is not as big as I thought it was. But it's nice. For and what? The tub. Oh, and the tub is missing from the master bath. Uh, master bath. But the two walk-ins are pretty nice. I mean, like, as you can see, you can you can tell very quickly who, which closet is whose. And uh, I don't really need that much anyway, so I, it'll be fine. The basement, now that I've seen it finished, I think it's kind of like non-debatable that we get it finished from the get-go because it just offers so much more space to entertain. Um, the gourmet kitchen also seems like one of the things that I would have to have. So I just, you know what I just realized? What? You have, I didn't know ovens and stove came separate. That's what she was saying. You get a oven stove and the um, microwave goes on top. The gourmet, you get a stove and an oven. Two separate things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because, yeah, because our current is a stove, a stove oven. oven. Yes. So, but we don't have, a, but in the gourmet, you don't have a microwave. You do get a microwave. This oven is a microwave and oven. The oven is at the bottom and the microwave is on top. Oh, oh that's what that, the two to the right yes. was a microwave. Oh, okay. And then the, on the stove is a stove. Oh, uh, okay. See, no, I didn't. I, I didn't thought they that. always came together. I didn't even keep that. Okay. Well, all right. On to the next location. We'll I don't be right know back. if we'll be able to get in because I think the uh, I think they close at like five and six o'clock for you to do the seeing. So we might be just looking through the windows. Yeah. <laughs> but the good thing is I got to see the loft, which I think was the biggest thing yeah. I really, really wanted because to see. Because I was trying to explain to him that we can like forego the front and backyard if the house is nice. <laughs> I think she says that now. Not... Look, did you see the porch? I feel like they have a nice porch area. Yeah, but she says that now, but we have a whole trampoline and a garden in the backyard right now. <laughs> We're going to lose all of that with this current house. So we'll see how it goes. We'll be right back. Okay. So we made it to the other development that we wanted to look at, and it's nothing here at all. <laughs> so, As you saw, it's blank. <laughs> yeah. So um, the other, so they're showcasing showcasing the houses that'll be here at different locations. So the one we just left from, that is one of the houses that they're showcasing. That's one of the models. And then there's another one that we have not shown on the channel. We rolled past it. We rolled past it several weeks ago and it was small and I just hated the house off just the outside so I didn't know that the two were connected. But I should have known. So are we headed to another one? Yeah. Okay. See you in a couple minutes. Okay. So we made it to our second destination. Or is this the third? I can't even remember now. Third. This is the third. What was the the one that was empty? Oh the one that was empty. That's right, that's right, that's right. So we're here. So yeah, I like this area just based on the seclusion. It's no more of those, oh yeah, I was around the way. I, I just passed it by your house. No, you're not. No, you're not. We we in the cut. Way, way in the cut. What you think about it? It's too far to get here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she Nobody's wants people gonna, popping up. It's not, I don't want them popping up, but no one is going to be like, I'm coming to your house because they not. Yeah, this is, this, <laughs> is, uh, this is way out there. I mean, just... It when took when us people were like, oh, you live in West Bubba? You really, this is this is real West Bubba. I don't know if anybody outside of this area would get that reference. Is that like a thing just for us? I don't know. Let's see.
Oh no. Yup, we hate this house already. So change of plans. We hate this house. We <laughs> and that's from what I could just see. Just look through the windows. Really? Yeah, I don't like it. Jeez. Well, this is probably one of the cheaper uh, drinks. I mean, you already paying. <laughs> The ones, ridiculous. Oh, look at that. Nice little pad. The <laughs> so, maybe this is going to be a little bit scary, too. A little bit scary out here. <laughs> Especially when you get older. Oh, oh my no. God. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the only yeah. thing is, the lots are not here. It's only this one house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long is it going to take for these other ones to sell? Might be a while. Might be if, the only one gonna, here. If they're going to be selling this, this is going to take a long time. This ain't it. Yeah, that's not it. So, Reason I was only reason I might have some doubts about this uh, neighborhood, not this neighborhood, but well, I guess this neighborhood mm -hmm. is the lots seem a little bit closer than I thought they would. But the seclusion is good, but that specific house we don't care for at all because it's the island is too small. My wife hates to study, which doesn't really matter to her. I'll be in a study anyway. But, I mean, where would you put your little dividend? Now I think about it. Yeah, zero dividend. So, yeah, we got to look at some more floor plans. And we'll get back with you. All right, guys. As you saw, we went to a few houses, saw a few neighborhoods and things. Um, of all in all, I really enjoyed the very first house that we went through, the one we was able to actually walk in. It had everything that we were looking for as far as having three bathrooms on the main floor for um, the kids, Cadence, and ourselves. That's what I really wanted. Um, I also liked the loft area where you could do a lot of different things with. But in the midst of coming back from the house that you saw that was in the middle of nowhere, we came across a neighborhood that, you know, it spooked our interest. So we decided to ride through it. And then it's, it's not spooked. Is I don't think that's it. It's spooked. Peaked oh, our <laughs> interest. That. Yeah. Uh, it, it, peaked. it peaked our interest. And I'll take over from here because <laughs> I'm just trying to contain my excitement right now. Because I think I've never thought about building a house until I saw this neighborhood and then we spoke to the individual who's selling a lot. Mm -hmm. And I won't say the price because it people might look at it as different. When you say, oh, this is affordable. Oh, I like this a lot. But when you hear the price of a lot and then you start pricing out how much you could build a house for and you could get exactly what you want, mm -hmm. it's much, much better. And on top of that, the amount of land, it's 6.5 acres. Yep. And it has a lake. Yep. Or a river or some form of water. Yeah. Um, you also leave us in the comment section. Let us know if you've built a house from the ground up and roughly how much does it cost? Because I know I'm finna do all my research because that might be the way to go for real, for real. Right, right. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.